Okay, talking about arc length on a circle. So in a circle of radius r, so r is the radius from the, you know, going from the center to all these points on our circle, the length of the arc s subtended by an angle of measure theta in radians um, shown in this figure over on the right hand side is given by s equals r times theta. Okay, so some things to get down on this. The biggest thing I think is theta has to be measured in radians. Okay, make sure that your angle is in radians as opposed to degrees. Now this can be a little bit confusing. A lot of students, this is the first time we've ever seen this sort of thing. S is gonna represent the length of this arc around the outside. Okay, so it sounds a little bit weird when you say the length of an arc S subtended by a, an angle with measure of theta, but basically S is this length around the outside of the circle. R is the radius of the circle, so the distance from the middle to the outside, and theta is going to be this angle on the inside. So let's jump right into one of these problems, see if we can get through it. We want to find the arc length along a circle of radius 10 units, subtended by an angle of 215 degrees. So the radius being 10 units, that tells us R is going to be 10. Now our angle, I'll go ahead and call it theta, they give us 215 degrees. But there's a little bit of a problem with that, that this is in degree measure. We need our angle theta to be in radians. So let's do a quick conversion over using that conversion factor that we want to rewrite this in radians. And we want to get rid of our degree units. So we have to remember that 180 degrees is equal to pi radians. Now set it up in this manner, um, basically because I want my degrees to cancel out. So you have one in the numerator and one in the denominator, and we can visualize this as being over one. So one in the numerator, one in the denominator, those are gonna to get to cancel each other out. This is gonna give us 215 pi over 180, and this is gonna be in radians. Now we could reduce this down slightly. These are definitely multiples of five, numerator and denominator. So we could say 43 pi over 36, and this is again now in radians. Okay, so we've converted our theta from degrees to radians. Um, the last thing we need to do is actually fill into this formula now that we have our uh, angle in radians. And to fill in here, we can calculate S is gonna be R 10 multiplied by theta, which we said was 43 pi over 36. So an exact answer here is multiply those numerators. And again, I'm thinking of that as 10 over one. Multiply our numerators, we get 430 pi over 36, which with a little bit of reducing down, um, both even numbers anyway, we can say 215 pi over 18. That's an exact answer for this arc length. We could get an approximation by putting it into our calculator. All right, a couple other short ones here. We're gonna find the arc length of an uh, the length of an arc of a circle with radius 10 meters that subtends a central angle of 30 degrees. So pretty similar process here. R again is gonna be 10. This time our theta, our angle is 30 degrees. We wanna rewrite that again in radians. So set this up so we end up with radians and we get to cancel out degrees. So 180 degrees is pi radians. Degrees get to cancel and we can say 30, sorry, 30 pi. over 180, and this will be in radians. And that'll reduce down a little bit. We can say that's pi over six radians. So S can be computed as R, 10, multiplied by theta, pi over six. So that'll work out to be 10 pi over six, or five pi over three for an exact answer for the arc length. All right, one more of these real quickly. Let's go ahead and figure out the central angle theta in a circle of radius four meters is subtended by an arc length of six meters. We wanna find the measure of theta in radians. So in this case, we don't know our theta. So a little bit different information that's given. We are given our radius is four meters and we're given S, the arc length is six meters. All right, so when we say S equals R times theta, if we wanna just fill in everything, uh, we can say S is six, R is four, and we don't know what theta is,
But to compute theta, we just need to solve this down for theta. So divide both sides by four. A little reducing down, we can say three halves is our value for theta. And remember that in our formula, theta is automatically in radians. So three halves or 1.5 radians is gonna be our solution. All right, hope this helps out. Good luck with this formula. It's really not that bad. Remember, theta always has to be in radians.